Hello nurse, welcome back. This is your teacher Dr. Anam and today's lesson is about structure of T4 bacteriophage. The bacteriophage is actually a virus that infects bacteria. So whenever you heard about word bacteriophage, always remember that it is a bacteria. It's a virus that's going to infect bacteria only. It's not going to infect human, it's not going to infect animal or plant or any other living organism this virus is specific for the bacteria so that is why it is known as phage or bacterial virus. now the bacteriophage term was coined by T. Herley and it is made up of two words like bacteria bacteria and phage which comes from the green word phagin and collectively if you say the bacteriophage is actually a bacteria eater so bacteriophage mean bacteria eater now there are seven different phages which are used to infect Escherichia coli and there are seven phages that infect E. coli and they are known as T phages so there are T2, T4, T9 phages which are known as T1 phages, T1, T3, T7 which are known as dependent virulent and T5 phage which is known as autonomously virulent. So because of um, T we can say that okay the bacteriophage T4 structure we are going to study and out of all these phages just the three, T4 bacteriophage is well studied so just dig into the structure. The structure of bacteriophage under a microscope, it looks like a tadpole. Here you can see the structure or uh, diagram of a tadpole and here we have the virus T4 bacteriophage. Uh, why it is going to look like a tadpole? Because it has a head just like a tadpole and it also has a tail just like a tadpole. If you talk generally, the bacteriophage structure is divided into two major parts, head region and tail region. Let's study one by one. In the head region, capsid head and DNA, they both are present. The capsid is actually this outer layer, which is made up of specific protein. Um, it is 120 nanometer long here and 86 nanometer wide. It is hexagonal or prism like. Hexa means six corners, one, two, three, four, five, six corners are present or it is like a prism. Um, the purpose of this capsid is actually to store DNA or genomic material. Then comes the DNA. The DNA is actually a double-stranded DNA which is present in T4 bacteriophage and it consists of 1,70,000 bases. Now the sum bases inside the DNA they are actually modified and the purpose or the benefit of these modified bases is that the DNA is protected from the bacterial restriction endonucleases the restriction endonucleases are the enzymes which degrade the DNA so because of the presence of modified bases when this DNA will gain entry inside the bacteria it is protected and the wire uh, bacterial restriction endonucleases cannot degrade it let's talk about tail the tail is actually the more complicated structure as compared to the head because it consists of so many other structure like uh, tail fiber, base plate, shade, collar, whisker, tail tube and spike. Tail tube is actually inner non-contractile tube made up of protein. You can take this as a syringe. Here we have a syringe structure which is non-contractile and it is a rigid structure. Similarly here this part is actually a tail tube and the purpose of this tail tube is to provide a passage for the DNA from head to the bacteria. So this is just a passage. Similarly in the injection the liquid is moved from one part to another part and it is just going to provide a passage. The tail tube is serving the same purpose. Then comes the sheath. The tail tube is enclosed by a contractile envelope which is known as a sheet. Here you know this is tail tube and this green part here is actually the sheet. It is a contractile envelope. Contractile means that it can contract and it can relax. 
um, this sheet is actually made up of sheet protein and the purpose of this sheet is that the contraction pushes the tail tube through the outer membrane of bacteria and it is helpful in forming a canal for the delivery of viral genome so just like a syringe it is going to put a pressure and then because of that pressure the DNA is going to move inside then comes collar and whisker they are actually fibers which are present near head and tail interferon uh, it is present or it is going to connect the head region and the tail region together they are helpful in the withdrawal of long tail fibers these are the tail fibers and these tail fibers they are controlled by collar and whisker also they are helpful in the attachment of these tail fibers to the phage during the assembly it means that inside the bacteria when capsid is formed sorry this is like capsid and then tail are formed they both are formed separately and they both are then combined together by the help of collar and whisker another part is base plate it is made up of multiple proteins and it controls sheet contraction host recognition host recognition mean that which bacteria they are going to infect dna ejection movement of dna from the head region to the bacteria and also the attachment so these are all the purposes of the base plate then comes the spike spike pairs the cell membrane of bacteria and makes an opening for the entrance of tail tube it's like an injection and it is going to penetrate inside the bacterial cell membrane and then helping the passage of dna next one is tail fiber tail fibers they are like appendages or just like feet or just like the appendages of spider they are very thin and they are road like structure what is the purpose of these tail fiber that these tail fibers they are helpful in the attachment of bacteriophage on the surface of the bacteria so that was all about the structure of t4 bacteriophage i hope it was helpful if you have not subscribed to my channel then please subscribe because i'm going to share with you all the videos related to biology and chemistry and i will see you in the next video